All right, frequently asked question. What's the difference between a sheath and a scabbard? If you look it up in a dictionary, a sheath is defined as a cover for a blade, and a scabbard is sometimes defined as, well, a sheath. For example, a sheath for the blade of a sword or a dagger, typically made of leather or metal. And people often use the terms interchangeably, sheath and scabbard. Now, my take on this is you can call just about anything a sheath, but only some things a scabbard. So this is a scabbard. What, what makes it so? Well, for one, it's for a sword, but you can have a sheath for a sword. So the difference, as far as I see it, is a scabbard is generally rigid. You know, like this, it's made of wood. This can either be just a wooden scabbard, or it may be a wooden core covered in something else, like leather, for example. Some techniques and fighting styles actually make use of the scabbard in the offhand for parrying or striking. Sheaths are often flexible or semi-flexible can be made of leather, cordura, a number of other materials, fabrics, etc. And they tend to be lighter than a scabbard. However, this doesn't really apply to knives. This is a sheath, but this is also a sheath, even though it is made of wood, rigid, you know, fulfills the criteria of a scabbard, but you wouldn't call it a knife scabbard. It's a scabbard only in case of a sword. This is my personal interpretation of the terms, but it doesn't always apply neatly. For example, if you have a kydex sheath, even though this is made of rigid material, it's, it would be called a sheath because, well, it's a knife. However, this is not a knife, but I would still call it a sheath because it's kydex. Why does that make a difference? Well, because this is essentially made like a leather sheath, except it's made with kydex. So this is a material that is pliable when you heat it up, so you can form it or mold it around the blade that you have. And you just need these two layers. You just take two layers, you put them together, and there you go. It's a pretty simple construction. It just happens to be made of kydex, but it's basically in the style of a sheath. So, is there a construction difference too? Arguably, yes. If you look at something like this, if this was sword sized, you would absolutely call that a scabbard. Since it is more knife sized, uh, you can argue that you can call it a sheath because it is a knife. I would still call this a scabbard. Why? Because of the way this is made. You can't just take two flat pieces of wood and just glue them together and there you go knife fits in now, or blade in general. You have to you know, take the two flat pieces and then carve an indentation, like a negative, of the shape of the blade into them so you have this hollow space. So making a scabbard is a little more involved and takes longer than most sheaths. Again, there can be differences because you can absolutely highly decorate a sheath and everything. But the base, the most basic construction of a scabbard, I would argue, would take you longer than the simplest sheath you can do. You can absolutely make a more elaborate sheath as well. You can glue individual strips on the sides so the two surfaces are actually separated. So you do actually have like a hollow cavity the same way you have in this wooden scabbard. So, this is probably overcomplicating things. In general, you can basically call just about anything a sheath, but if it's a wooden container, if you will, for a sword, or wood core at least, that would be a scabbard. Everything else is a sheath. So, maybe that helped, maybe that confused you even more. Um, I hope it's the former. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care.